but highlights the, the basic issue of the relationship between the Secretary of State and this White House. No Secretary of State can be successful if the world does not think he speaks and speaks authoritatively for the president. And let me just say, every day that goes by with this sort of thing happening, Aaron, it begins to create doubts. And doubts are, are poisonous for the ability of a Secretary of State to, uh, to be effective. And, you know, Tillerson hasn't taken any questions on this trip. As you, as you know, Richard, he doesn't have the deputy, as you pointed out. He, he hasn't had a press conference uh, since he took over. Uh, it, it, how, how much time does he have? I mean, he is someone that does end, uh, lend gravitas and credibility world relationships to the Trump administration. But as you point out, the runway is short. Well, the president has to empower a secretary of state. The president has to go out there and show that the secretary of state speaks for him, that the two of them, uh, there's no daylight between them. It would also help if uh, the national, there was a national security advisor in place. And this, Because yeah. we don't really have an administration to speak of when you start talking about national security. So these are early days. It's only what? You know, it's less than a month since, since the administration began, but they can't count on the world remaining uh, a calm place or relatively calm place. Sooner or later, a real crisis, rather than one generated by the administration itself, is going to, is going to come into their inboxes, and they had, they had better be up and running and ready for it.